Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, what we're going to be talking about is an application called Turnkey Linux. Uh, it's a WordPress site. So I was getting some requests about WP Hunter um, and WP Scan, which is WordPress Scan to scan for vulnerabilities on WordPress sites. Um, obviously, I don't want to condone anyone scanning any websites out there to try to find some stuff. You know, obviously, unless you have consent or you're doing a pen test or any kind of um, assessment for legitimate reasons. So what I thought I can show you guys how to do is set up an actual WordPress site for yourself on your own network so you can scan it, you can learn um, how to run it, you can run your own web server. And I just had this up before I started um, recording. So what I did, I downloaded the virtual machine. I can put this link in the description. It's pretty much turnkey uh, turnkeylinux.org slash WordPress and you know blog publishing platform it's a it's a very simple platform to manage um there's a whole bunch of applications out there sites out there hostgator godaddy other hosting companies that host wordpress but if you want to do it yourself go for it um i downloaded the v16 version 16 the virtual machine and i want to show you that in a second and let me go to my downloads downloads so if you see here, it's right here, and we're gonna utilize that in a second, okay? So you can download the ISO file, VMDK, VMDK is for VMware, and this virtual machine is usually for VMware and VirtualBox. Obviously, we're gonna be using VirtualBox in this um, video. And for this video, we're only gonna get this up and running, and we're gonna to try to browse to it and make sure it's, you know, it's reachable. So let's get started, enough talking. So I want to be using VirtualBox today. So what I want to do is create a new machine. So I want to actually import um, an appliance. And the appliance that we're going to be importing is the one that we downloaded, which is right here. I'll view this in detail so you guys can see it. It's right here. OK, fair enough. So let's go ahead and go to next. This is all the information. It's going to be named Turnkey WordPress. And this is the default location where I have all my VMs. That's all good. This is all good. Perfect. Everything looks good here. Actually, what I'm going to do is for the, the network adapter, I can change that after. What I want to do is I want to put it on the InfoSec PAT network so it can communicate with this box. All right, so let's go ahead and import. It shouldn't take very long. It should only take a few seconds. It's a very small file. Um, skip, we'll give this a second. So while that's doing its thing, let's go ahead and minimize all this. Let's open up a command shell here. Uh, let's clear all this rubbish. So if config, I wanna make sure, okay, 192.168.99.22. And we can go to machine, settings, go to my network, and I'm on the InfoSec Pat Net network. Perfect, just wanna make sure. All right, cool, so now this is here. So before we actually start this, I'm gonna actually put it up a little, up a little more. So I wanna go ahead and go to the settings of this virtual machine. I wanna just, I like making little tweaks. I like bi bi-directional. Description doesn't really matter. And this is all good. And then let's go to network. I don't want it bridged. I wanna have it NAT network infosec pat. That's the IP scheme. And you can go ahead and change some other stuff here, but I'm gonna leave everything as is. Just change my um, my network, okay? So let's go ahead and power this bad boy up. Let's go ahead and start it. Give this a moment. Minimize this. And we'll give this a second. It should only take a few seconds to do this. It shouldn't take very long. Three, two, one, bada bing, bada boom. Give this a few seconds to make this a little larger. And while that's doing that, there's some interesting and informational uh, information, intuitive information on here. So if you go all the way down, we have some logging, logging in for administration. So say you want to administer the box, 
So let's go down. So the login is administrator for the WordPress and for the MySQL is admin, adminner, um, whatever. And then MySQL is gonna be root and, and so on and so forth. So this is if you have, you know, if you have any problems, you can try to go ahead and use that login. All right, so let's go ahead and go back. So in our case, we're gonna go ahead and create a password. Whoops. Um, let me just do that. Let me do that again. Okay, I want, this is for the um, MySQL. I'm gonna go ahead and put my fancy password, okay? new admin for WordPress. So this is the admin account for the WordPress. I'll put my fancy password. All right, so this is, you know, you can put your email in. I'm just gonna leave it as admin at uh, example.com. That should be fine. I'm not really, um, you can skip this. I don't care about an API key at the moment. Tab, um, go over to skip it. And same thing here, I can skip this. and then install. Uh, you know what? We won't install the updates because in the next video, we'll scan this and see if there's any vulnerabilities. So let's go ahead and skip this. And I don't wanna you know, take too much of your time and my time tonight. I just wanna get this up and running for the next video so we can uh, be all good. All right, perfect. So if you see here, let me actually get out of here. So if you can see right here, it's 192.168.99.23. So it is on that same network as my my um, my Parrot box. So let's go ahead and open up Parrot. I want to go ahead and ping 192.168.99.23. I'm able to hit it. Perfect. So now let's go ahead. Nope, not that. Let's go ahead and go back here. And we're going to go ahead and go to the web. Okay. So let's go ahead and open up Firefox and go to 192.168.99.23. There we go. So now we have a WordPress site. Okay. So if we do, let's go back to it real quick. If we do slash admin, you know, or we can just go here and hit login right here as the admin. So now this username and password is to get into the WordPress administration. So it's gonna be admin and then whatever password you set it as. So let's make sure this is working. I'll hit remember and I'll hit save for now. This is fine. This is correct. Remind me later. I'm just gonna remind myself later. Okay, it's all good. So now we have a WordPress site. For example, if you ever wanted to host this at home or somewhere, you can set up, obviously, if you know how to do the networking, you can set it up with dynamic NAT, I mean, excuse me, dynamic DNS, and you know, DDNS out on the internet. So if you only have, um, if you have a dynamic IP address internally, so it can, it can stay the same at the DNS level. But if you have a static IP, you can do, you can you know, put this in a DMZ, you can make a web server, you could do a lot of things. But obviously, this video is strictly to understand the security features of, um, of WordPress, how to scan it with uh, WP Hunter or WP Scan to, no, WP Scan is strictly for WordPress sites. And there's other um, web application vulnerability scanners, but I've been requested to do WP Scan, WP Hunter, and obviously I don't condone to do this at you know, just go find a WordPress site on the internet and just do this. That's not what I, you know, I'm not about that life. So this is how you can set up a WordPress site on your local network. Now we have this turnkey Linux set up. So this is it for today. Um, in the next video, we'll scan this site. We'll, we'll look at some vulnerabilities, see if it um, needs to be updated and how to run those scans. Okay, so please like, subscribe, share. If you have any questions about this video, please feel free to hit me up on social media, leave a comment below, I'm here to help. All right, awesome guys, thanks for tuning in and until next time, have a good one, see ya.